the legends of two of the most important historical figures, Augustus and Cleopatra, were born in one place, Actium. Welcome to Moments and Minutes. The Battle of Actium in 31 BCE was a decisive moment in the history of Rome. It was a naval battle fought on the Ionian Sea near the city of Actium, which is modern-day Preveza in Greece, that pitted the forces of Mark Antony and Octavian against each other in a confrontation that would decide the fate of the Roman Republic. Initially partners in the political alliance known as the Second Triumvirate, along with Marcus Lepidus, this compact fell apart over the existence of Caesarian, the alleged son of Julius Caesar and Cleopatra VII, the pharaoh of Egypt. Octavian viewed Caesarian as a political threat, despite the fact that Caesar adopted Octavian as his sole heir. This situation escalated when Antony moved to Egypt, abandoning his wife Octavia, who was Octavian's sister, and started an affair with Cleopatra, effectively becoming Caesarian's stepfather in the process. War was declared in 31 BCE with Antony stripped of his legal authority in Rome. Despite his numerical advantages in both ground and naval forces and several opportunities to inflict decisive defeats on Octavian, Antony's forces were instead pushed to the western coast of Greece near the port of Actium. Cleopatra, fearing the worst, advised Antony to sail back to Alexandria. But Octavian prevented this by deploying his fleet on the 1st of September to cut off this retreat. The ensuing battle saw Octavian's better man and faster fleet encircle and overwhelm Antony's ships. Both Antony and Cleopatra seized an opportunity to escape to Egypt where they both committed suicide. Octavian, now the most powerful man in Rome, dissolved the Roman Republic, took the name Augustus Caesar, the first citizen, and this transition marked the beginning of the Roman Empire. While Mark Antony's legacy ended at Actium, the influences of Augustus and Cleopatra have survived till the modern day. Augustus gave us the month of August. Previously, this month was known as Sextilius, sex meaning six in Rome, because it was the sixth month of the original Roman calendar. According to Macrobius, it was renamed August to commemorate the fall of Alexandria and the surrender of Egypt, subsequent to the Battle of Actium. And this occurred in the month of Sextilius, 31 BCE, modern day August. Most of you watching this video are probably living in cities and you might have walked around your city and wondered why the parliament, government buildings, law courts and museums are all built in a very fancy way. And you look at them and think, what's with the fancy columns and the fancy architecture? This is the Corinthian order of architecture that was popularized by Augustus and spread right throughout the empire. Originating in ancient Greece, this elaborate technique became part of classic architecture that was revived in the Renaissance and continues to be used in the construction of public institutions that reflect wisdom, law, governance and democracy. Cleopatra continues to inform our visions of feminism and sexuality. While her sexual wiles allowed her to seduce two of the most powerful men of her time, her other achievements have been largely ignored. She was a commanding figure who, according to Stacey Schiff, was well-versed in politics, diplomacy, and governance, fluent in nine languages, silver-tongued, and charismatic. She ruled a huge, affluent, and densely populated empire in the torment of the late Ptolemaic period. The fascination we have with Cleopatra is embodied in popular culture. From 1540 to the present day, she has been the subject of five ballets 45 operas, 77 plays, and at least 7 films. Thank you so much for your time today. Moments in Minutes is a channel dedicated to making history more accessible to you, the modern day scholar. We give you the what and the how, but more importantly the why of history. Why it matters. 
and why it's important to you. Please subscribe to Moments in Minutes, where we're creating history every week.